Hello ladies and gentlemen. So, like this you're interested in the bullet bell bullet uh, helmet. That's uh, seriously that's that's an amazing helmet as long as you don't want to make uh, let's say uh, a vlog. Cuz uh, this helmet has so many vents that the air coming inside is is insane. For instance, you'll be able to to hear it now. It's, uh, it's pretty complicated to deal with it, so what I did, for instance, I'll show you after, is uh, I tried to cover some of the vents, but still, a lot of air is coming in, which is very good, like it's, uh, right now it's gonna be certain time, so you know your weather is gonna start being extremely hot, I would say, here in Montreal, so uh, having all those vents is, uh, is perfect, and this helmet is really light, so you'll... Uh, You'll really enjoy it. Uh, I'll explain to you, you, you have several versions, I mean two versions, and uh, we'll see this in, uh, in detail right after. But uh, no, uh, it's a very, very nice helmet. And uh, if you don't have a long trip to do, let's say if you, you, know, you don't need to go on the road, or if you do it you know, on small roads, it's perfect. But if you go on the highway, you might be a bit um, annoyed by, uh, by the, the, the noise uh, you, you receive constantly with the, with the air going through the, the vents. So yeah, what we'll do is uh, we'll discuss about this in a minute. And um, what I'll do as well is I'll, uh, I'll show you how I was able to, to add a GoPro on it. It's not the best job ever. I'm sure you will, you will see or you will be able to do a better job than I did. But knowing that the, the, the surface where you can put your your GoPro is extremely, extremely thin. That's a bit of a challenge, but, uh, but uh, you know, you'll manage. Okay, guys, so what I was trying to demonstrate before is just that, you know, this helmet has so many different vents that the minute you're trying to start filming, it's gonna be an issue for you because you have so many in the front, right here. You have so many inside, right here. I'm gonna show you more in detail right after. And the thing is, in the back as well, you might have issues getting a proper sound. So um, this helmet is really nice if you, you know, you need to go on a small ride, if you need to, uh, not to have a very long trip, you know. Because after this, it's gonna be a real issue for you. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you where the mic is situated because I had to remove all the paddings right here. To be able to insert the cable so just to show you how i uh, actually added my uh, lavalier microphone you know it's i just removed the padding and i add some some tape right here and it's it's pretty neat because when i put the helmet or I remove it you know I, i'm not hitting the the mic all the time so it's uh, it's actually a very good system it's very easy to uh, to add and uh, no, it works, sorry, it works really well. So yeah, if that's a solution you're looking for, it's a, it's a good one for this helmet. This is amazing, this is very light, and this one is the fiber fiberglass version. Um, you can get the carbon one, but it's gonna be at least, not at least, but I would say it's gonna be maybe double the price. Uh, this one in Canada is, um, if I'm not mistaken, is at around $500, $560. Uh, in the US, it might be around $400. And the thing is, the carbon version is around $800, $820 uh, here in Canada. So I think it's, it's gonna be at around $600, $650 in the US. Um, what is beautiful with this helmet is the fact that the minute you have it on the head, you're not gonna have problems, you know, with your head. It's, gonna, it's not gonna hurt you in any manner. So uh, the only issue you're gonna have is actually to place the GoPro right here. Because as you can see, we have a very small chin. And uh, I'll show you more in detail, but I had to cut actually the GoPro base. So I don't know, we'll see. So uh, to mount the GoPro, what I had to do is actually, you know, cause we have a pretty, pretty thin chin. So. I had to cut the, cut the base, sorry, of the of the mount, if I can say. I don't know if you can see properly right here. And I had to make it, you know, 
flush to the to the metal ring right here to be able to to stick the GoPro. I didn't want to put it too high because when you close when you close this right here, you know it has to be flush as well. Because if it's too high, you will have a lot of air right here coming through your helmet as well. Um, it's it's stable, you know. It's uh, I didn't have to add any other uh, product to actually make it more, you know, uh, sticky. It's uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, the GoPro is in is really nice regarding the 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 view you can have you know uh when you're filming so that that's really nice as well uh so yeah that's it and uh you know when you remove the gopro it's actually not bad it doesn't look like you have a huge uh, machine stuck on your chain if you're trying to get a helmet for um for a mot moto vlog i wouldn't recommend this because you're gonna struggle with it like having a proper sound is gonna be an issue for you um, what I did actually is I ordered a uh, dead cat uh, to be able to see if it's gonna actually block the sound. Normally I should receive it I think at the end of the week so I'll make another video to show you what the result is but I might have to actually block those vents to be able to get a proper sound. So um, except this you know it's a it's a very beautiful helmet it's uh, it's actually yeah, I mean I took the basic version I didn't need to get something really, really fancy, if I can say. Uh, the padding is really nice on your face because it's not, you know, pushing here at this area. I don't know how you call this in English. Um, it actually maintains your face and you can remove everything, which means that if you need to clean it, you know, you're not going to stay with a dirty helmet all the time. You can actually remove the, the, the different pieces right here, you know, so easy. You just unclip and you can clip it back after if I can do it. Perfect. So, um, yes, beautiful helmet. I would recommend it if it's just, you know, to, to do a small, I would say, trip. Uh, if you want to go long distance, I wouldn't recommend this because you are you might you might be very tired due to the, the, the sound, you know, the air coming through your head. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this helmet if you want to go with it. Uh, it's very easy to, to maintain, you know, you can unclip all the all the side wheels to uh, to remove the La visière, this thing. So, yeah, enjoy. Regarding the visibility with this helmet, it's, uh, it's insane how well you can see, you know, it's so wide. Uh, compared to other helmets, I had some issues sometimes, you know, to actually see uh not see on the side you know but you felt like you you know you were it was very very tight on your on the sides of your eyes so it's 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 really nice like i'm just saying that for moto vlogging it's gonna be a bit complicated to deal with we'll see next week how it uh how it uh perform with the with the dead cat but at the moment you know i don't know if you had the chance to see the previous videos but the sound is always, there is always a lot of wind coming in, you know, when I'm talking. So I have to push and to kind of, you know, not scream, but it's, it's not something natural. So, uh, but visibility wise, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's very light. Uh, it's not too hot, thanks to all those vents. You should get it if it's not for your long trips. If it's just, you know, to do small trips in the city and stuff, that's, that's perfect. The minute you want to add video, I mean audio, it's gonna be an issue and if you want to do long trips it might be it might be really tiring so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, what I'll do is I'll do a follow-up with the with the mic with the dead cat and uh, we'll see how it works Let's do a bit of highway, not highway, but... Ah, putain!